Yo guys, welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing. What in the world is up with our mailbox? This thing is going crazy. All right, we'll check it out. Uh, this thing is packed full. All right, so I guess it does that whenever it's packed full. Hopefully we didn't miss any of our mail because of that. Um, we've got a letter from Gulliver, a letter from Ricky, a letter from Flurry, uh, Elmer, Snake, Ricky again, Apple, Babara, Quilson, and Lyman, the new person. All right, so we'll read Lyman's first and see what it's all about. Send me a present like that. Is that a challenge? I've been paying attention to what you like, bro. It's part of my winning strategy. I win, right? All right, so we'll see what he has. What did he get us? What kind of gift could Lyman have possibly? He's only been here for one day, and he he got us a peachy tea. All right, Lyman, you win this time. All right, so let's open up the rest of them um, with uh, whatever. Your letter was like a gentle summer breeze. I say that writing is the window to one's soul, so I must have seen your pain. This is the end of my reply. <laughs> All right, Quilson. Uh, Babara says here, it was so unexpected your letter made me extra happy. Letters can encourage you to say things you're too embarrassed to say out loud. I guess I'll wrap this up. Okay. I like how everybody's putting like a little whatever. Hey, thanks for the sweet letter. I'm really feeling inspired. I'm going to go try running so fast that I go back in time. I'll tell you if it works 10 days ago. That was my hand run. Okay, the letter is kind of right, my dude. Late, my dude. Okay, uh, this letter is my official declaration of friendship. I ended up dozing off while I was writing my reply to you. Sorry about the drool. Send me some more letters. All right. Um, and we've got a few letters here. One from Apple. Hey, you have no idea how super happy the gift made me. Now it's my turn to make you super happy. I have a special present just for you. Take good care of it. All right, Apple. Let's see what present you got for us. Uh, we'll open it up. He got us a bamboo shoot. That's actually really cool. We can actually grow bamboo in our village now. Um, let's read a letter, letter from Ricky here. Hey, you go. Double thanks for both the letter and the present. I'm not going to be showing, showing up. Here, have an extra special present in return. Take good care of it. All right, let's go ahead and open up this one. Ricky, what'd you get us, you sly dog? Ooh, a dotted wall. Let's we'll check that thing out for sure. And Flurry, I really like the clothing you sent me. I wish I could wear it every day. I wanted to give you something too, and thought, and thought, and this is what I came up with. That's all, Flurry. All right, let's see what she got us. We got her a sick shirt. Now let's see if she gets us anything. Oh, that's a flashy suit. Wow, we got to take that thing out. Uh, thanks for coming over to my place the other day. At the time, I told you I couldn't give you anything, so I've got to fix that. So I've got to, okay. He just give us a gift? Dude, I... Ricky, you didn't have to do that, my dude. You didn't have to do that, my dude. A lovely lamp, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, dear Cole, thanks for helping me out. I want to let you know that I made it safely to Scotland. I'm sending you one of its traditional instruments as a gift. So, you guys actually missed it because I did this part off camera. Sometimes there will be this guy who washes up on the shore in your village. And it's this pelican looking dude. His name is Gulliver. And he'll say that he's going somewhere, um, and he'll send you, like, an item from wherever he's going. And in this one, he was going to Scotland. So, um, I'm, I'm assuming that he's going to send us some bagpipes. What did this boy send? He sent us some bagpipes. All right, so that's some pretty good stuff. It's actually raining, so we need to go inside and get our umbrella. Um, yeah, good thinking, Cole. He's sending out in the rain, reading all the letters. Probably got all of them soaking wet, but that is fine. That is fine. All right, here we are. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and just... Well, we need to check this dotted wall first. Because um, I don't really like the wall we have right now. It's kind of... It's kind of bland. Alright, that kind of matches a little bit better, I think. Okay. Um, we'll put this in here. And um, I'm going to get this axe out because this axe is very important for one of the things we're going to be doing today. Uh, PGT. I don't, I'll show that out later. Oops. I'm actually putting all my clothes in this C tab. Because, you know, C. Let's try out this flashy shirt. Um, I want to try that out. Let's <clears throat> try that out and see what it looks like. Flashy suit. Okay, so it's like a, it's like a tuxedo top looking thing. It doesn't look good with our track suit. Maybe in the future, if we can get some nicer pants, that would look better. Um, but that does look pretty nice. Thank you very much for that. Um, okay, let's go over and put the clothes in there. And we have a lovely lamp and some bagpipes. So I don't really know what to do with this stuff right now. So I'm just gonna stick all this in here. We'll check that out later. All right, so we have all our tools. We need our, we need our umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, here's our umbrella. We got that thing in the inventory now. Let's head on outside and explore the town a little bit. Um, so uh, we actually got access to a new area of the game today. I received word when I was starting out the game from Tortimer, the previous mayor of the town before us. He said, 
um, that he has a secret for us. And the secret is we get to explore a new island, which is insane. Did anybody new move in today? I don't think anybody new moved in today. So Lyman, we didn't get to see Lyman's um, house last time. Is he awake? Okay, Lyman is outside training. All right, so we haven't got to see him. And here's our first villager for today that we've seen. All right, oh, good morning, Cupcake. Do you find Rainy Mornings refreshing? All right, uh, I wanna chat, what's up? Maybe you can invite me over to your house or something. I've always wanted to just relax and talk to you at your place. Uh, of course, you can come on over anytime. All right, hey, thank you. Okay, anytime, half past 10 a.m. or later, it works for me. When's good for you? All right, uh, 10.30, we'll try to remember this. Last time, I promised Apple I would go to his house and I didn't show up, so. He's a little upset about that, but I think he's fine. And as you guys can see, all of our fruit is now like grown and stuff. And if you guys missed the last episode, we did catch a ton of sharks and we paid off uh, our house loan. We uh, finished a new work ordinance. I'll actually go show you guys that new work ordinance now. Um, we'll just go up here to the top and that person had a really cool umbrella back there. All right, so here we go, boys. Right there it is. We've got a sick new fountain in our town now. I don't like how close these, uh, oh, sorry about that. My nose is like running where I sneeze. So yeah, we have a new fountain in our town. It does look amazing. So yeah, it took, uh, I think it was like 90, 99,000 bells or 98,000 bells, something like that. But we got it paid off. We caught a ton of like five sharks and stuff. And we've caught almost every single fish in the game. So we're way ahead of schedule and stuff. We're going way too fast, uh, probably. And right here is potentially another new fish. We only have three fish left that we can catch. And um, today is the perfect weather and the perfect time to catch them all. Um, is the nibbler nibble fish? Nibble fish, please. No, uh, it's a pelch up. All right, so we're actually looking for the nibble fish and we're looking for the giant snakehead. Giant snakehead only spawns over here in this pond. And there's one of the fish called, oh, this is actually the giant snakehead right here. This is it, boys. Now I've actually got to focus myself. So hold on. I actually got to listen to my DS and uh, listen to it go underwater. That's how I do it. So hold on. All right. Giant snakehead, come on. Oh, we got it, boys. We got it. There we go. All right. There's only two fish left for us to catch in the month of June. And then we've caught every single fish that is possible to catch in June, except for the island fish. But we're actually going to explore the island today, um, sooner or later. And we've also got to get all the fossils first. So I think before we go to the island, we should uh, finish everything that we have to do here. Finish all of our duties, because that's what we do. We're mayors. And we do have a brand new fish. I love this fish. Look at that. Yeah, that is beautiful. All right. So we also have this new bamboo stuff. And I want to plant that next to my house. I want my... Uh, real estate going up you know all right i heard a weird noise in the sky that oh i still hear it all right so let's uh let's plant this bamboo over here next to this i don't know how like how good it grows and stuff but hopefully it grows pretty well hey look there's lyman all right hey cole question this is serious how fast can you run a 50 yard dash um 50 yard dash probably six seconds closer to six seconds but not exactly there well yeah so that's pretty respectable in my book but i've never seen you training are you training in secret or what such dedication man i can't be like that. okay why did you want to ask me that for we didn't check this is if this is the rock first oh, it's not the rock and once we've captured all the fish we're going to be focusing more on what kind of bugs and stuff we can catch i guess all right so let's just plant some bamboo right here the plant right here all right and bury there you go. Good job. All right, hopefully that grows into like some kind of sick bamboo shoot that we can have right behind our house. And if you guys noticed, uh, I changed the little gravels under my house as well as the roof. I think the roof looks so much better now. I actually love this. This is the best Animal Crossing game for sure so far, like, except for the new one. When New Horizons comes out, it's gonna kill this game. Hey, there's the turnip blade. We can actually buy some turnips, plant them, and resell them probably. I'm gonna buy a few. All right, so. Oh, well, hello there. I've been selling turnips here Sunday mornings for about 60 years now. Maybe even more. Come to think of it. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, I already know everything. Okay, uh, so, well, thank goodness for that. To be honest, I need to turn my volume off on my DS. Okay, to be honest, teaching everybody the basics gets old faster than the batch of turnips. So, anyway, today the asking price is 99 bells per turnip. What do you think, kiddo? 
Uh, I'll buy them. Okay. How many do you want? It's 99 per turnip, and I sell them in bunches of 10. Um, we'll just, can we buy 20 turnips? Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. We'll buy 20 turnips. Or wait, let's buy, let's buy 200. I don't know. We'll just buy 20 and see how much that is. All right, 20 turnips is 1,900 bells. All right, we'll buy that. I think you can make money off this somehow. I'm about to look up a guide or something. Let me check my inventory. Yeah, so 20 turnips. Okay, so we can we can do something with those in a minute. But uh, we got some stuff we got to do today. Let's actually go over to the town hall and uh, get started on a new works ordinance thing. And if we see any small fish, that's the that's the size of the fish that we're looking for. Actually, like a smaller fish, um, because that's gonna be. Uh, the nibble fish or whatever it is man. I love seeing different fruits in our town I love this apple and stuff and the tree is getting bigger, but let's go on over and talk to Isabel Hey, this rock wasn't always here boys. That's what I thought. That's what I thought <laughs> Yeah, so I've just been selling those because I don't think it's really that important that that those that we have those you know, I don't really want the like the special furniture that you can make from it. All right, Isabel. What is up for today? Okay, Oh, Mayor, I just remember the townsfolk will have to hold a ceremony to celebrate the fountain completion project. Okay, so... Yeah, um... I'd be happy to do it. It's kind of raining, but we might as well, you know? Okay. Then let's go ahead and head to the site, Isabel. She's always making the preparations, like, super early, so... Hey, a lot of people have come to this one. Okay, um, hello everyone. Welcome to the grand completion ceremony for Pewter's Vital Fountain Project. Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. I'm Isabel, and I'll be your host today. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. We're going to keep this short, sweet, and let's jump right in. First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our very own mayor. Take it away, Mayor Cole. Hooray for everyone. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well said, Mayor. You have quite a way with words. Okay, moving on. Everybody, please look at the item we passed out earlier and get ready. And now, to celebrate the completion of the Public Works projects. All the hard work that made it possible. Ready, set, pop. And there we go, boys. There we go. Brand new fountain. Our town is starting to come along very nicely. Thanks, everyone, for all of your hard work and taking the time out of your busy schedules to be here. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel. Okay. Well, we're back over here now. <laughs> That's great. So I think I really want to clear out some of these trees um, because I don't like how close they are to the fountain, to be honest. Where's my axe at? There we go. So I'm going to chop these trees down and also um, chopping a tree down um, causes a certain kind of bug to spawn. And that's what, that's one of the things we're going to leave these stumps here until we get that bug. All right. So I'm just going to leave these here for a little bit. And then we'll come back and finish these later. All right, so instead of holding this axe around like a crazy person, we'll just hold our fishing rod. All right, let's go back over to the Isabel's place. Hi, Mayor Cole. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, let's start some more Public Works projects. So actually, someone requested a Public Works project earlier. Okay, so you want to go to Public Works projects? I'm happy to help. What would you like to work on? Let's start a new project. All right, here are the current requests from the people. All right, so... We have a reset center, which I don't know what that is, but it's super expensive. Cobblestone, suspension, yellow bench, uh, fairy tale street light. Oh, someone actually requested that. But we could definitely build that for sure, probably. We've got a fence, fire hydrant, custom design. Um, I'm thinking about building the campsite, dude. That's pretty sick. Only 59,000 bells, too. That would make our town look super awesome. Uh, you can make multiple fountains. All right. Um, let's do a campsite. It's not too expensive. What is the fence even for? Like, I don't even know what that's for. Is it like for a garden or something? Can you plant turnips in it or something like that? I don't know. Um, all right, we'll do the campsite. Okay. And then people can just camp there whenever they want, or they can visit from other towns, probably. That's probably how it works. All right, so we'll do that. This will also increase our tourism, probably. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, campsite time it is. You won't be able to, de to demolish a campsite project once it's finished. Alright. You won't be able to. Uh, let's do it. I like campsites. I'm not, I don't plan on destroying it anyways, so... Let's go ahead and build it. But where are we going to build it? That's the question. We need, like, a nice little place. Okay. 
All right, so I'm thinking um, pretty close to the beach, probably. That'd probably be the best place to build it. Oh, there's a weed here. We don't need those. All right, so somewhere like around this area, probably. Nah, that's too close. It's like, whoops. All right, Isabel got stuck on a tree. Isabel got stuck on a tree. Okay, um, we have a lot of fruits here. Okay, there's a thing there. Remember to get that thing. Okay, probably over here. Um, yeah, probably right here. Alright, let's talk to her and see if this is a good spot. Actually, let's get this fruit before that. Um, so that way we can make sure. Because you gotta get, we gotta get this fruit. And so that way it doesn't get rid of it. Because we don't have very many of each fruit, you know. We don't have very many of each one. Alright, so take the fruit. This is where we want to build it. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, that'd be perfect. So it's going to look like something like this. All right. It'll look like that. Okay. All right. I actually like that. That looks good. All right. We'll put it there. Okay. Understood. Well, let's go ahead and start the proceeds. All right. All set. To help us gather donations to fund our campsite is our awful, helpful town guy. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Okay. So... I guess that we almost have enough money for this, dude. We will pay you off very, very soon. All right, so I think that's all we have to do today for, for like, being a mayor. Um, I guess the next thing to do would be, how do you put all this into, like, okay, you do that. So I just figured out that you can bundle up fruits into patches of three if you just put them together like that. Um, how much space do we have in our inventory? We have four. That's perfect. That's exactly enough uh, to get all the fossils we can get today. So let's go ahead and get our fossils, boys. All right, here's fossil number one. Let's go find the other three. All right, here we are, fossil number two. Let's go ahead and get this thing. Hey, look, it's Snake back there. What's up, my dude, Snake? Hey, here is fossil number four, or three, I mean, fossil number three. All right, there we go. Dig it up. All right, one more fossil to go, and we should be good, and there is like, I don't, know, I don't know if clovers count as weeds, but we'll pick them up just to make sure they're not weeds, you know? Hey, here we are, the last fossil. And let's go on over to the museum, get these over to Blathers, and see what kind of fossils they can be. Hopefully, they're all new fossils, and maybe we're even going to complete some dinosaurs. All right, Blathers, here are four fossils. Um, hopefully, these are something nice, you know? Hopefully, something good. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, at least one of them is new. Okay. Um... But let's go ahead and see what they are. We need to go ahead and donate these things too. We've also got a giant snake head to make a donation to you. So, Blathers, hopefully you're ready for this. Okay, so two of the fossils were already owned. We got a shark tooth, an anklio torso, all right, and the giant snake head. So we can sell these these uh, fossils for some money. All right. Now let's take a let's take a look, shall we? All right. Yes. I'm glad we all take these things. I'll, I'll <clears throat> My voice is just so bad today, guys. This video is going to be a little bit less. Yeah. I guess so I'm so uh, sorry I'm sorry for the whatever the quality is I apologize okay um, let's check out the rest of the town so we've still got to check out Nook's store and the Able sisters to see if they got anything nice for us because we are buying things they open at 10 o'clock and it is currently 958 we can kill a little bit of time um, I think this place also opens at 10 they open they open earlier okay perfect um, so like I mentioned before, we're trying to get the golden axe, which never breaks. And to do that, you have to buy 50 um, of those trees. All right. Uh, but we also buy flowers every single day because they just make your town better. So we might as well buy them, right? All right. So there you go. And we actually don't have very much space either. So um, we're going to have to sell some stuff before we can buy anything else i think we pulled up okay we got two more spaces left for sure okay we can buy this right here and let's see here that's a cedar sapling 60 bells all right we'll buy that um we end up selling it usually anyways but that's cedar sapling number three or four i can't remember but we're getting close we're getting close every day one step closer to that golden axe after almost two months we'll have one all right, uh, Nooklings Junction. Let's go ahead and see in here. We might have to just sell what we have to him um, just to get it out of the way, out of our inventory. All right, Nookling. Let's see. He's got a pretty cool wheelbarrow over there. Welcome, welcome. Today we are holding a special pre-remodeling store closing sale. Oh, uh, you don't know yet? What well, that means, do you? 
All right, I apologize for how sudden this is, but we'll be closing our shop on June 24th. Uh, after that, we'll be closed for a while after while we remodel and stuff. I apologize for the inconvenience. We ask that you under for your understanding as we become an even better store. Awesome, so they're actually going to remodel and stuff. So um, I guess we should just go ahead and buy what they have. Um, but we can't really, we, we can't afford it. We just um, don't have any space in our inventory. So you guys are ready to buy my stuff, right, Tommy? All right, uh, let's go ahead and sell. Okay, all right, let's see here. They always give a lot lower of a price, but we kind of have to get rid of this. Okay, so we're gonna sell these mangoes and stuff too. And this ruby and this fish. All right, so we'll keep the flowers. We'll sell the cedar sapling because we don't ever plant those usually. Uh, 10,000 bells, eh, better than nothing. So I think we have enough money now to uh, pay off the 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 new campsite or whatever. But we're just gonna buy everything we can right now and do whatever with it. All right, a striped sofa. I would never put this in my house. I would never put that in my house. All right, and we need to buy some paper because you never know um, when someone new might move into town. And if they're gonna be closed tomorrow, I don't know how long it's gonna take them to remodel. Um, but if they're gonna be closed, then we need to make sure that everything is okay. And we have enough paper to like uh, mail somebody if they move into the town to give them like a welcome letter and stuff. So it's always good to have that. And I think it's, is it 10 o'clock now? It's 10.01, so Able Sisters should be open now. All right, Able Sisters, what have you got for us? What have they got? What have they got? What have they got for me? Okay. Hopefully I got some sick stuff. We can always just mail this stuff to people as gifts. Um, it's always, oh, I like that tie-dye one. And yeah, we'll just, we'll get both these shirts here. And, um, yeah, we'll just get them as, like, gifts for people. Might as well. Might as well just buy everything. Okay. And, well, yeah, we'll go ahead and take that. And then let's go over and look at their hats and stuff and see if they got any good-looking hats. You guys do have some pretty good fashion. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. You guys are looking pretty good over there. All right. And over here, they have a wizard hat. And what is this hat? What kind of hat is this? I like that, that ball hat, though. A kiwi. It's a kiwi hat. Nah, I think I'm good, but the blue hat looks nice. I'll get that. Alright, there we go. A blue cap. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take that for sure. That looks pretty nice. Alright, and uh, there's a duck bill if you want to be a duck. Uh, but that's good. Thank you for your thank you for your patronage or whatever. Alright, let's go talk to Tom Nook now. Now that we've paid off, we paid off our loan um, yesterday, I think. So, um, I thought our house would be upgraded. Um, but I guess not. Let's go ahead and see what Tom Nook has got going on. All right, Tom Nook, let's see what you've got going on, my dude. Um, hopefully we can get our house a little bigger. I think he's just going to go ahead and upgrade it or whatever. So tomorrow it should be big. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, it's Cole. So good to see you. Construction is now complete. Yes, very good. Let me know if you need anything else. Construction is now complete. Uh, I want to expand. Okay. Huh, Cole, is it time to make your home a little bit bigger? Yes, yes. A loan of 98,000 bells can make this dream a reality. Might as well, might as well do it. All right, excellent. I'll put your order in right away. This work will be fully completed by tomorrow morning. I'm sure you must be very excited. They do really fast construction in this town. All right, so I like this blue door. Do I want this blue door? How much for this blue door, Tom Nook? Uh, blue door is pretty useful. Okay, okay, so we actually can't purchase it now that we're now that we're upgrading our house. So that kind of sucks. All right, Tom Nook uh, Hopefully you have a nice door for us tomorrow. That's pretty good So I'm excited for this main street to start growing more and getting more stores So I'm doing everything I can a little bit at a time to make this to make this store grow as fast as we can All right, so we've done everything we can now We got to plant a lot of stuff. We have a lot of stuff. We got to do everything we can do on main street is completed We've already bought everything we can there. Um, I said we just go over to the house and we we put everything we can up in our in our little closet. I was gonna use the umbrella, um, but the umbrella is just not working out right now. And I think we're gonna plant everything that we can plant. We're gonna make a little garden or whatever. And then once we do that, we're gonna try to get that last freshwater fish um, before we move on over to the island. And then there's one more fish that we can actually catch here in on our beach while it's raining so it's perfect that it's raining today because that means we can catch every single fish that we can off the mainland um and that's that's really good it's really cool to be ahead of stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and put these clothes in here i'm actually gonna wear the hat so i need to go ahead and put that on that would actually protect us from the rain a little bit and yeah this hat looks pretty sick 
Yeah. All right. So it looks like a Nintendo. Weird looking Nintendo hat. Um, put the paper in here. We have some more paper in here as well. And we got some furniture to put in here. Yeah. So everything's looking nice. And now we have all this stuff to plant. I don't really need this axe right now. and Or this umbrella. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it. I need to get my, my DS charger. My DS is dying, boys. Okay, guys. I just um, read online about how to make money off of these turnips and stuff. So we need to find this turnip lady and literally put all of our money into these turnips. So I'm going to go ahead and find her really quick. Ah, uh, yes. Here she is, boys. All right. So we have 58,000 bells. All right. So the asking price today is 99 bells today. All right. I'm buying. All right. Here we go. So anytime we're going to try to wait for the price of these to be over um i don't know how many we're gonna be able to buy how many could we get 500 of them Forty nine thousand bells all right i'll buy that okay we got 500 of these things all right and we bought them for 99 now the way this works is we sell them over at the retail oh there's something new over here let's check this out really quick okay closing for expansion okay and the fountain is new all right, so we finished the cover bridge, finished the fountain, and Nooklings is closing for expansion. Awesome, so I'm really excited for the Nooklings thing. All right, but anyways, back on to the turnips. All right, so the turnips sell for more at Reese's. Um, we just need to know whenever uh, like the price is the highest. So it can go over 110. We bought the turnips for a pretty low price, and we can check the, the process that she buys them for change each day. If we click turnip prices, it says, I'm afraid turnip prices aren't set on Sundays, so will you please come again tomorrow? So there are two prices, and there's an opening price, and there's a noon price. So they change, it changes once a day, or whatever, I think. And it changes in the morning, and it changes in the whatever. So we'll have to check twice a day, and whenever it's at the highest, we're gonna have to sell. There's a chance that you could lose a lot of money, but there's a chance you could make a ton of money. The chances of making a lot of money are a lot higher, I think. So, uh, well, I got some cat coupons over here. I hear the stupid thing going off. It's really annoying. All right, welcome. This is your new cat machine. Okay, receive coupons. All right, so there you go. Thank you, thank you. All right, thanks for using your local cat machine. All right, um, that thing's so annoying. Um, let's go ahead and just store these turnips in our um, little house and then we'll head on over. Oh, there's another big fish. We gotta catch it, boys. We gotta catch it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The sound is kind of delayed. There we go. We got ourselves a giant snake head. We can sell that for some money. All right. All right. That's pretty cool. That's a, that's a pretty rare fish to have. We just caught two of them today. Like, what are the chances of that? I need to turn my DS sound off. Okay. All right, turnips, let's put them up. Okay, now that we've got the turnip prices all figured out, we've got two things we need to do on the mainland before we can start figuring out going to the island. Um, we need to look for the money rock. Is this the money rock for today? No, nope, it's not the money rock. Now we gotta just find that rock, and we've also gotta find that new fish, or that last fish that's the freshwater or whatever. Oh, boys, we found the, we found the rock. When we're put up against the tree, we're perfect. This is the perfect chance to get every single one of the bills. All right, come on. Get them all. Get them all. Oh, we were not fast enough. I could have swore we were fast enough. All right. But we still got quite a bit, and I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining at all. Not one bit. Okay. All right. So with that, that's going to give us a little bit of money. Um, we'll go ahead now and start fishing and looking for that fish. Once we catch that, we can head on over to the island. There we go, finally. We actually caught one. Perfect. Awesome. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this to Blathers, guys, and then we're going to sell everything else that we caught over um, at Reese's. Okay, so apparently I've already donated it, so I didn't even need it. I could have swore I didn't have this fish, um, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to go sell stuff then. All right, here we are, and here is Tortimer. He's actually the previous um, mayor of the town, and also like the the actual mayor on the older Animal Crossing games. Ah, Cole, it seems you just hopped, hoped with you. Okay, say now, oh, what, what did I want to see you about? Hmm. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. I was gonna tell you about the tropical island. Tropical island where I live is a resort where summer is endless and people visit from all over the world. On the island, there are lots of rare things you can't see any other places. You can relax on the beach or party hard by going on a tour. It's truly paradise. 
The boat that takes passengers to the island arrives at this dock. I already told the person in charge to start making stops in this town starting tomorrow. Well then, work real hard as mayor. Let me see you soon on the island. Alright, so how do we do that? Alright, after all, I'm the tour guide. Okay, so. So we can't do it until tomorrow? Okay, the tour is going to present Alright, so I'm assuming that we can't do anything yet. Alright, so I think. Um. We can't go on any of the tours yet. We will have to wait. It is currently 10.30. And we've done everything we can do right now, I think, um, for today. So I'll probably um, play a little bit off camera after 4, or maybe even on camera if I can remember. Uh, at 4 p.m., when it's if it's still raining, we can have a chance to catch that like ancient fish. I think it's called silicanth or coelacanth. I don't, I, don't I don't know how to pronounce that name. It's pretty hard to pronounce um but we're gonna try to catch that fish today hopefully we can get it and if we do that would be every single fish that we can catch in the month of june on the mainland and then we're just ahead of schedule because june still has a few days left um and then we can start july july isn't very much different but there are some fish that are new all right so i will see you guys soon or i will see you guys not soon Yo guys, we are back um, after the little break now. It is currently in the game uh, 3.30. All right, so uh, hopefully it starts raining again around four o'clock. I hope that it doesn't clear it because we need to be raining to catch that last fish that we can catch on the mainland. And what are the, the coelacanth, silicanth. Um, but in the meantime, I think we're currently at 45,000 bells. I went through the town off camera and I sold every bit of fruit. Uh, except for a few apples and stuff, but all like the the non-native fruit um, and I sold a couple bears too um, Just to try to get some extra money. Um, I think we're gonna try to pay this thing off So while we're waiting for uh, the rain and for four o'clock We're gonna go ahead and try to earn a little bit of money to see if we can go ahead and get this thing paid off All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. We just finished our first inventory. I picked a few um, pears and uh, we had six apples that I picked and we caught a few fish and a few bugs and we got almost 10,000 for it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, so I think this is exactly enough to uh, pay for whatever. Hey, Ricky, what's up, my dude? Okay. I thought you were going to find a bargain in here. I don't really... People can sell their own stuff. It's kind of like a flea market kind of thing. You know, you you pay them to put it in here, then you kind of pay to sell it for whatever price, and you get a profit for it. Um, but that's about it. All right, so now let's see how much time we got left. We still have 17 minutes left. That sounds like enough time for one more inventory. Okay, so what I'm currently doing right now is very risky, but potentially can make us a little bit of money. So I'm shaking trees, and there's a chance that a beehive could come out of them, a chance that money could just drop out of the tree, or a chance that a spider or even a, uh, a piece of furniture could fall out of the tree. So there's a piece of money just fell out of the tree. Um, we're going to keep shaking these trees for just a little bit. I might shake every tree in town. As soon as I find a bee nest, though, I'll be upset. Uh, I watched a video on a trick on how to catch the bees. If I can find one without getting... If I can catch it without getting stung, I'll show you guys, all right? Oh, here's our first one. Okay, first thing you do is open up the inventory here. And hopefully the bees are going to come around through the front of the tree. This will make it a whole lot easier. And also, I think the beehives are worth 750 or 500 or something like that. But the, the, the hives are worth some pretty good money, too. Let's see if we can get it. And there we go, boys. Simple as that. We caught ourselves a bee. And I think that's like a thousand, thousand bells. And then we also have that. So I'm going to do this for a little bit. Hopefully, I don't get stung. All right. So we'll just put the bells up and when we get them. Hey, there's the piece of furniture. So yeah, once a day, a piece of furniture will fall out of a tree. And it's actually a stereo. Uh, we don't even have a, a music thing to play music in our um, in our house, but we'll, we'll, we'll take that because we need one, you know? Because I think the next shop that we unlock, well, a few shops later, um, they start to sell music in the in the Nook shop, whatever, the, the furniture store. So we're gonna be needing a radio for sure to have some music playing in our house. We have bumping parties in there and stuff. Okay, boys, here is the second inventory. Almost sold my radio we just got. Um, but there we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that in and almost 6,000 bells. Well, basically 6,000 bells. So we got 62,000. That's pretty good. We're gonna wait. We have 62,000 exactly. That's a nice number. All right, so. Um, we're gonna wait now for we got seven minutes until uh, four o'clock and hopefully it's gonna be raining by then 
I'm just gonna go chill at my house and check out this new radio. All right, boys, it is now 4 p.m. Um, and it sounds like it's raining outside, so let's go see if it's raining. Hopefully it is because we need it to rain to catch this last fish. Um, oh yeah. All right, perfect conditions. We've got one fish left, boys. Just one fish left. Let's get on down to the beach and see if we can find him. Okay, so this right here is potentially the fish. It's the same size as a sea bass. Um, I'm pretty sure it is anyways. Um, but we will attempt to get this fish. Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to be I'm just going to listen to it on my DS here because if I if I do it any other way, I will I'll misclick. Okay, we got it. We got it. I just listen for it. I can't do it by sight. I get I get I get nervous, dude. If I'm trying to catch a rare fish. All right, let's keep looking for the big shadows. All right, we'll catch any sharks we see too, because um, we kind of need them. Okay, I'm gonna scare away the rest of the fish. Any fish that isn't the fish we want, it will be scared away. All right, let's catch that silicanth or kelicanth. I don't know how to pronounce it. Hey, our first shark. All right, let's go ahead and get this bad boy. Let's go ahead and get him. All right, there we go. And all right, so I think this one is worth like eight thousand or five thousand or something like that. This is the cheapest shark fin thing you can find. All right, here is potentially that fish. All right, come on. Where did it go? Oh, it's all the way over there now. Okay. Potentially the fish right here. All right, we gotta listen. Okay, they, they're botting fast today, aren't they? Oh, and it was that was a pretty big olive, olive flounder. All right. I feel like that shot I was too big to be an olive flounder, but I guess it could be one that ate a lot. <laughs> All right, next shadow. Dude, the sharks are coming out tonight. All right, let's go ahead and catch this one too. All right, sharky. Ah, right, there we go. Come on, be a regular shark. Fifteen. There we go. That's fifteen thousand bells for those things. Um, I'm really excited for when we unlock the island because I'm pretty sure like that place is oh there's a there's a, a bug I don't have yet. It's, I think it's called the wharf roach. Yeah. Wharf roach? Yeah, alright, there we go. Another bug um for our encyclopedia and for the museum. Sweet. Whoops. Let's get the fishing rod back out and start looking for that fish. All right, here we go. Another big, another big shadow. All right, come on, be the fish, boys. Gotcha. Here we go. Not the fish. Okay. All right. Let's keep looking. Another shark? Are you serious? We're we're getting so lucky on these. Where were these things at yesterday when I was looking for them? Dad gummit. I accidentally mis misclicked. All right, let's continue looking. Okay, so I just looked at the guide online, and it said that it's the shadow for this fish is going to be. It says longest, so that means that it's uh, the same size as like a shark, or uh, a shark, or yeah, just a shark, but with no fin, you know. But I'll just catch anything big. Alright, come on. Be the fish. Be the fish. Be the fish. Not the fish. Alright. Another sea bass, boys. Another sea bass. Oh, another sea bass. I'm beginning to love that fish. And there we go. Another sea bass, and with that, that's going to fill up our inventory. I'm going to walk the coastline here to see if I can see any bigger fish. And if I do, I will catch them, but this will be my last walk up the coastline. Might as well catch this to see if it's the fish. You never can tell if it's the fish or not, because I don't really, I can't. Remember. Like, you're looking for a really long shadow, and like, this is as big as it gets. Come on, be the fish, be the fish, be the fish. It's another sea bass. All right, uh, let it free. Yeah, let it go. 
and we'll check over here and there's like a small fish and another one of those roaches all right we need to go donate that roach to the the uh whatever museum but we'll go ahead and go on over to retail first what do you want apple oh uh, yes i do have a sea bass you want to buy a sea bass let's see here dude uh 360 bells go ahead and take it my dude go ahead and take that sea bass you can have that any time of the day all right we'll take the cash money put that into our wallet and apple you have a good day my dude all right this should bring us a little bit of money Twenty-six thousand bells just a little bit <laughs> Yes, so we're actually almost able to pay off our next loan, um, which I don't really care much for. Um, I think I'd rather work on the projects in town, because I think we're getting the second, no second, but we're getting a bigger home tomorrow anyways. Um, so we'll keep that size for a while, probably. All right, there is the wharf roach donated. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, head back over to the beach now and see if we can get that fish i'll try a little bit uh on camera for for like another hour or so and if i don't catch anything i'm just gonna end the video and then we will i'll uh, just fish off camera and if i catch it i'll take a picture of my phone like i did in the last video all right first fish back and it is a big shadow fish hopefully oh my god i need to i need to just use my ears or i'm gonna lose this fish and the first one is gonna be a sea bass nice Number two is a sea bass. Nice. Fish number three is actually the fish we're looking for. We actually caught it. Holy fish sticks. I caught a silicanth. Uh, am, am I saying it right? Colicanth? I don't know how to pronounce it, my dudes. But there we go. We have captured every single fish uh, in the month of June on the mainland. Now, this isn't the end of the episode. We still got one more thing to do. But, um... Tomorrow's episode will unlock more fish because uh, starting tomorrow, there will be a boat here every single day that's going to take us to a tropical island where we can catch all sorts of brand new fish and brand new bugs. And I think that also unlocks this, which we can put fish and other items into. Um, but that's a different story. All right, so before we end the episode, let's go ahead and pay off uh, this campsite we decided to build today. We definitely have enough money now. So we might as well go ahead and pay this off. All right, so there do we go. 59,000 bells, we've got 88,000, so we should be good. We'll go ahead and just push the non button until it gets to 59. All right, there we go. We still got 30,000 bells left almost. All right, and there we go, boys. Awesome, the project's donation goal has been met. Sweet, so tomorrow the campsite will be completed. Nice, nice, our third um, project done all right so i'm actually thinking about building a third bridge hey what's what quilson here want hey quilson what's up hey what you <laughs> dude somebody else is looking looking to get a sea bass does everybody want a sea bass around here <laughs> if you guys want them i'll just sell them to everybody in the town um he's trading me a wrap shirt for it i'll check and see what it is all right but it sounds like somebody's got fleas we're gonna have to help them out who is it apple has fleas all right, Apple. You got fleas, my dude. Hold on. Gotta get a little closer. Whoops. There's a tree there. All right, Apple. You ready? There we go. There do we go. Caught a flea. All right, Apple. Hopefully you're welcome. Yep. All right. All right. Good job. Um... I guess this is going to be no we still got to go over and donate the fish all right all right so let's go ahead and sell those sea bass that we got and this flea that we just caught from that and I might as well go ahead and try on that wrap shirt if I don't like it I'm gonna sell it probably all right all right here we go a wrap shirt yep um I hate it so there we go we'll keep the number five shirt because I think that just looks really cool all right so uh, I want to sell some stuff. Thanks, Reese. All right, let's go ahead and we're not selling the silicanth. We're selling the rapture and the sea bass. Our other sea bass is gone. All right, there you go. 350 bells. The um, Apple bought that last sea bass for 350 bells alone. Um, so that was a good deal. All right, because usually they try to rip you off. Like I think so. Anyways, it feels like they they're paying like they're underdog in you every single time. Like thanks, villagers. I only run the town. Thanks for trying to mooch off of the mayor. 
All right, so let's get on over to the museum. All right, Blathers, here you go, my dude. This is going to be the coolest fish that you have on exhibit. Hopefully you like that. We've waited all day long to get this thing, and there it is. All right, let's go on over and uh, take a look at the fish exhibit um, and see how like how far it's come along. So we've been donating like we've donated like every single fish, and today we've caught like we caught the giant snakehead today, and just that we caught so many rare fish today. And tomorrow we're gonna be filling this room up because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be filled with stuff that you collect whenever you go diving. So. Um, we get it with them. We can buy a diving suit at the uh, the island and uh, the island is just gonna unlock so much more content And that's just tomorrow's video. So There's that. All right. Let's take a look at our aquarium boys All right, so we have here a bunch of like smaller fish. I see a guppy angelfish goldfish uh, the, the black goldfish uh, And what else do we have over here? We have a a lot of fish in here this is like the this is like a river like a north american river for sure and then this over here these fish seem to be a little bit more exotic for sure um so but not all of them like we have a bass and you have a bluegill and stuff um so this is more like just anything fresh water and just sort of reminds me of like an amazon river and then we have a few of the ocean fish here but i think this exhibit's mostly completed Maybe a few more things go in there. I'm not really sure. I don't know what the completed museum looks like, but we're on our way to having a um, a complete museum. The fish part, anyways. And there's an ocean sunfish. Uh, there's a hammerhead shark. And there's the fish that we caught, boys. That thing is a beauty. That thing is a beauty. That shark is going to town, though. Uh, and then we got a saw sawhead shark, saw shark, something like that. It's got a little saw nose. Um, but it's still a cool looking shark too. All the sharks are cool. Um, tomorrow on the island, we're going to be unlocking a lot more bigger fish for this exhibit. One of the fish that you can get is a whale shark. And uh, to have a whale shark in here is legitimately, that's just crazy, dude. But I have been to an aquarium where there are actual whale sharks. It's uh, the Georgia Aquarium, the Atlanta Georgia Aquarium. That, that place is crazy, dude. Um, but that's going to be it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Animal Crossing today. If you guys want to see more videos on me, guys, there is two videos up on the screen. You can click one of those videos if you want to. And if you haven't already subscribed, guys, go ahead and click that subscribe button because like 90% of my viewers are not subscribed to me. And I think that's... I think that's pretty crazy, so hopefully at least one of you guys will subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.